Stop the presses. You definitely need to be aware of this, especially if you run a dedicated server. Yes, yes, it is going to be a dry video. Click away at your own peril, however, you have been warned. Pale World at launch has a critical bug which even the developers have acknowledged and highlighted. The bug relates to the world save, causing corruption or disappearing worlds. You might have seen this message loading up the game. Critical bug notice, an issue has been observed where save data may disappear in single player and multiplayer online. And it's not to be ignored. Nothing sucks more than playing for tens of hours and then losing your world. Fortunately, it's not all bleak. Watch on as I walk you through how to manage backup and restoring save files, both on client and if you're running on a dedicated server. They're similar but different. Nothing is simple nowadays, is it? First, let's start with single player. The good news is that the game is automatically backing up both the world save and your character save regularly. This means you do not actually have to back it up, but you do need to know how to restore it in case you suddenly log into your world and the character or world is gone or corrupted. You need to open up the correct save location on the client side, and to get there you hit the Windows key or click start and type in percentage local app data percentage and hit enter. You navigate down to PAL, go in there, you go into the saved, you go into the save games, and then you go into this folder. This folder is actually also your Steam64 ID for those who are curious. So we're going to go down here as well. Inside here, you see all your save files corresponding to different game worlds. Sadly, they're not named. Rather, they have a generated ID. In my case, I have four out of which only one is relating to a single player save. We'll come back to the others and discuss those as it relates to servers in just a bit. For now, I will open up the one that corresponds to a single player save, which is this one, and you'll see two folders and a few files. The content of players and, which is this one and these four, are the current save files. Don't delete or overwrite these unless you're putting in an older save on purpose. Backups are helpfully in the backup folder. Unhelpfully, however, they're split into local, which is for a character, and world for the actual world save. There is a reason why they do that, and it does give you some more flexibility, such as if a world is lost but the character is fine, or vice versa. If you're not sure what you're doing, I suggest taking these ones right-clicking and zip them up just in case it's just going to be really helpful to have them in case you do something wrong and you lose your current save if you want to restore the character you go into the backup you go into the local folder and then you go into whichever of these backup folders that you are looking at you can see there are timestamps so they're from different times on the server which is a local single player session we're going to go into this one and you'll see this file, the local data dot save. This is your character file. So we're going to copy this one. We're going to go up and we're going to simply paste it. And it's going to ask me to overwrite. I'm going to do yes because I've taken a backup of the most current one. And now I have taken an older character file and put it back here. And now you can go back to playing. If you want to restore a world that might have vanished or corrupted, you go into backup, you go into world. Let's go into this folder and we're going to take all these three files, actually one folder and two files. We're going to go back up here and we're going to paste and yes, we're going to replace overwriting everything. And now I have taken the slightly older backup and pasted into the current save. Now if I run the game, I will be having the slightly older world that corresponds to the timestamp that is actually here and be playing that one. You can do either or both depending on what went wrong. If your world vanishes, just grab the latest world save files or slightly older one. If the character vanishes or is corrupted, simply copy the local player files. Clear? If not, rewind a bit and rewatch, especially the part about sipping up the files so you don't lose things simply by trying things out. In this case, I can get this back by going into this one and I can basically just grab it and pull it out and now I am back to how it was before I started showing. Alright, 
Let's now move on to the multiplayer where you are the client. You're not running a server, you're not running a solo, but you are connecting to someone else's server. In this case, I'm going to go in here. You'll notice that there is a backup folder and there's only a local data.save file. And this is where it gets dumb. It appears that the character files are at least saved on the client, not on the server. This is generally a dumb design for many reasons, which I will not rant about here. But it means that if your character is corrupted or vanish in a multiplayer server, you you, as the player need to go into your backup folder local again because that's where the character backups are pull out an older one from a folder that is time stamped again and copy it back up to overwriting that local data to save that is there right now and that will allow you to pull an older character file and use that on the multiplayer server Fortunately, I don't think this is very common, however. I normally mostly heard of world saves vanishing, but there have been reports of character data being wiped too. Now let's talk about saves on a dedicated server. Those are in the install folder of the dedicated service. We're going to navigate to it, properties, install files, browse, then we're going to go into PAL, we're going to saved, save games down to zero and again there is a random number here well it's probably not random but it's a hash and going down here and you see there is no backup folder the server files here compromise of the player folder and the map save files but there are no backups for some reason the developers have decided that dedicated servers will not be automatically backed up and this is the main problem people have been running into when they lose worlds irrevocably as unlike single player there's no automatic backups to fall back on this means that you as the server admin need to take backups the simple way to do that is simply select all right click zip it up and i'm going to zip it up like this I get a zip file and then I can go in and for instance just name it and today is 27 Jan 2024 and uh, let's say it's uh, 1 a.m. here for me in Singapore. That way I have labeled it accordingly. Then if something goes wrong I simply enter it and then pull everything back and overwrite whatever is there. You might want to do this as often as you feel is needed, whether daily, hourly, or something in between. You might also want to explore automating this with scripts. I've heard people using FreeSync and Task Scheduler to accomplish this, for instance, but you can generally use any similar solution to make your life easier. I won't dive into these tools as it's really beyond this video. But now you have all the information you need to protect your game saves. To close out, I wouldn't worry too much if you're just playing single player or connecting to a server, but it's good to be aware so you know how to restore. If you are running a server, you definitely need to set up backups. If you enjoy this video, why not hit that like button, maybe the notification bell, subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Good luck, pal.